Welcome to Scanning TV on YouTube once again. Let's see some latest updates coming in from the camp of Black Stars team, Ghana under 17, and some other players in this update. Tomorrow is going to be Ghana versus Benin. It's going to be interesting at the Logon Sports Stadium. So if you're around Accra, make sure you go to the University of Ghana Sports Stadium to witness this game. I'll talk into details on that in this update. Then check out the table where Ghana is placed, where other countries are also placed, and some other ones in this update. Inyaku Williams. After winning the best player in La Liga from Africa here, he has spoken. What did he say? We will check it out in this update. Mohamed Kudus, that overhead kick against Manchester City. Gary Neville has spoken about it together with Kudus also posting something today. We will check that quickly in this update. Then also speak about Ibrahim Osman, the player for FC Nordland, about to join Brighton. We will talk about him together with a lot of updates. Um, Tarek Nilamte and some more ones in this one. You know how we do it. Anytime you join me, take your time and like the video. After liking, if you are new, subscribe to this channel, put us on post notifications so that anytime I drop the latest update you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy also give shout out to all those who commented under the last video as of the time i'm recording this one after watching please share the link for others too so come here and enjoy the latest on this channel so quickly no time to waste let's begin from here inyaki williams alpha yes he's a striker for athletic Bilbao and the ghana black stars team he has spoken after winning the best player in la liga from africa I brought you the update in the previous video, so I will not talk much into it. This season he did well, scoring some 13 goals, also providing 3 assists for his side, and that is that. Now, speaking after winning the trophy, this is what Inyaki Williams has to say. Thank you very much for the acknowledgement. It is an honor to represent all African players in La Liga. My roots in Ghana are as deep as my love for Bilbao and Athletic Club. I hope to be in contention for this same award next season. That is what Nyaki Williams said as quoted um, by 3news.com and I'm also sharing with you on this channel. So according to him, the way that or his roots from Ghana, the way he loves playing for Ghana, it is the same way that he also loves playing in the La Liga and he is also proud and it is an honor to represent um, Africa in the La Liga and he is also waiting to actually go in the next season and win the same award again as the best African player in La Liga and that is a quick one on Inyaki Williams' answer. Now, let me also speak about this before we move on yes um amputee national amputee team the um black um, challenge yes they are also in egypt i brought you an update on this channel i brought you their fixtures and everything so you can just check on your screens for it i think about two days ago that yes they'll be beginning their competitions that is for may 19th yesterday after the day i'm recording this video and yesterday they played their first game against gambia they won by four goals to know ghana black challenge amputee team won four now then today they have also defeated Algeria by some five goals to know. So the Ghana team is just there beating countries like that. Tomorrow, um, as of the day I'm recording this video, it's going to be Kenya versus Ghana and um, it is going to happen at 8 p.m. tomorrow. So let's wait and see. 4 now. 5-0. So, the next game, how is it going to go? So, that is it from the Ghana Black Challenge. And I think they are doing amazingly well in Egypt. And we wish them all the best going into the last game of this particular phase in the African Cup of Nations for the amputee in Africa. That is a great one for the Ghana team. And um, congratulations going out to them. Nine goals in two matches without conceding any. It's a top, top one for this particular team now let me go to um you know let me go here before i come back to the players performances and all um, ibrahim osman is also a player for fc northland he has now signed contract with brighton of Albion. so at the end of the season in um, denmark the player is leaving to come and join um, them in the epo and they bid farewell to the player at um, Nordland, seeing some good stuff about the player. So I'll be showing them here. I'll not take my time to read all these ones. Yes, so they were just talking about how the player has progressed well from the 19 coming to the senior side and he just needed some few games to announce his presence and also become a, a professional player where he has now earned contract to join um, Brighton. So they are just basically wishing him well that he has also grown from becoming a right to dream academy player and now going to play in the EPO. And today, the player also scored a goal for his side. We will talk about that in this update. So just take and stay for that. Now, Mohamed Kudus in the EPO, hmm, last day of the Premier League, he announced his name yet again. He wants people to have that kind of conversation around Kudus during the whole transfer we know so the season begins in August. Is he going to move from West Ham to join any club 
a lot of people have diverse um, opinions about Kudus. Some are saying Kudus should stay, others are saying he should move. A whole lot of brouhaha around Kudus. Yesterday he spoke, and I brought you the updates on this channel. If you have not checked it out, go and check out yesterday's update when Kudus spoke after the game. Today, his side, Western United, they posted his goal, and Kudus just brought an emoji. That emoji is just like the magic emoji. That is what Kudus reposted and added that magic emoji, showing that he is a magician who actually did that magic around that minute. So that is the indication of what Kudus posted. So, aside that, Kudus' goal has been compared to Alejandro Ganacho of Manchester United. During the season, if you have been following the EPL, Ganacho also scored a fantastic overhead kick against Everton. That is, I think, the best goal of the season for most people. And yesterday, when Kudus scored that goal, they brought that flashback. People were actually saying that, no, they have to hold on. This Kudus goal can equally challenge for that, um, you know, goal of the season, which um, many are saying that we should give it to Alejandro um, Ganacho's goal. Now, we have Gary Neville, who is also um, a former footballer for Manchester United and also a legend of the club. And now, He's a pundit. He has spoken about Mohamed Kudu's fantastic overhead kick. And speaking yesterday on Sky Sports, this is what Neville has to say on Mohamed Kudu's goal. An incredible goal. It is similar to the Alejandro Ganacho's goal at Everton. It is brilliant from Mohamed Kudus. That is what um, Gary Neville said on the Kudus goal. He said that it is, yeah, it's a class goal that Kudus scored. And you can just compare it to the one that Alejandro Ganacho scored. And if you are watching me, please, the goal between Kudus, or Kudus and um, Ganacho's goal, which one is more fantastic or more beautiful for me? Um, I'm, I'm, some, someone may say I'm being biased, but I'll choose Kudus own in a sense that if you look at the way Kudus control the ball himself, he sets the ball for himself and he actually smashed on beauty. Ganacho's own was a cross that he also scored, also beautiful, class goal. But I'll choose Kudus own looking at a team like Man City, the way the defenders were packed. In fact, they have just over there standing behind Kudus and Kudus has to do that. It, it just take a player who can do magic to actually do this. So, yes, that is it. Also, from Gary Neville speaking on Mohamed Kudus' goal. Now, let me talk about Ghana under 17 team because tomorrow, 4 p.m., at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium, it is going to be Ghana versus Benin or Benin versus Ghana. Yes, tomorrow they are playing home um, together with how the schedule is done. So it is going to be interesting. And um, after that, we also have Niger. They will also lock horns with Burkina Faso. Um, that is going to happen on Wednesday. So that is it also for you on this channel. Now, let me talk about the standings. Yes. On your screens or on my right hand here, Wafu B under 17, Ghana Group A, we are leading with three points after one game. Then Cote d'Ivoire, they've played two matches after Ghana defeated them 5 1. They went to defeat. Um, that is talking of Benin, and now Cote d'Ivoire also has three points. Benin, they are having no points in our group, and that is that. So Ghana will lock arms with them, and our group will be done for that. They will go to the Group B. Group B, we have Burkina Faso leading with four points after two matches, Nigeria with four points, Niger with three points, and two go with no points so that is it also in there i'll be following and bring you more updates on this channel let's talk a little about Tarek nilamte he has also sent a message to the fans to the coach and everyone who helped him throughout this particular season and this is the message from Tarek Lamte as the season has ended. Um, to the fans, thank you for all your support. This season, really appreciate it. We felt it throughout. A special mention to, um, that is official Lalana, talking about um, one player who plays with him. Lalana, it's been a pleasure to play, train, and learn from you every day. Good luck with um, what comes next. Also, to the gaffer, it's been great to be part of your team. Thank you for all the support. Wishing you and the staff all the best in the future. Enjoy the summer, everyone. That is from Tarek Nilamte. Wishing Adam Lalana, also his gaffer, Roberto Di Zerbi, who is leaving the club together with the technical team and some other ones also in there. Now, um, let me move on and, you know, talk about some other updates. Lest I forget, today the under-17 team, they also had their final training session. So I'll be sharing some few pictures on the screens for you so that you enjoy it. I don't want to waste much time on that. So, yes, they also also had their final training session on that front so let's move on to the players performances yes today as i said ibrahim osman he scored a goal for his side fc northland 
It was FC Nordland versus Midland, a tough game in the Danish Super League. And today, the game ended 3 3. Ibrahim Osman scored the first goal of the game on the 11th minute. Then we had his other colleague, Nedrin, who scored two goals on the 16th and 36th minute. In fact, after they took the lead, three goals to know, the away side wanted to do a comeback. And it was just amazing. On the 38th minute, away side Midland scored through Ju. Then um, Sorensen also scored on the 45th plus two. And Ign um, Ingerson also scored on the 79th minute to make the game 3 3. So, Nordland, they took three goal lead and they just let it go just like that. Yes, Ibrahim Osman, as I said, um, he scored and today he played 78 minutes. After 78 minutes, the player um, actually had one goal for himself, one shot on target, one shot off target. Dribble attempts were seven and three were successful. Touches were 44 for Ibrahim Osman, where he completed 21 passes out of 25 attempts, which is some 24, um, 84%. Crosses, he attempted one. Ground was he went in for 14 and got three right. Aerial was he went in for one, losing 16 times possession and um, also made one foul in the game. So, yes, he's basically leaving, um, you know, FC Nordland to join Brighton next season. And that is it also for the player. Now, let's talk about one Black Stars goalkeeper, Lawrence Artizigi. He's been that consistent. I've been speaking about him. It was Wintaha versus St. Gallen. And St. Gallen went away to defeat Wintaha by some three goals to one. Artizigi, he started and completed 90 minutes and got a rating of 7.2. That is a good one for the goalkeeper. He made three saves in the game. Um, punches was one as well. High claims. He claimed one. Touches were 40. Where he completed 19 passes out of 28 attempts, which is 68 percent. Long passes are long, but he sent 16 where seven were accurate in the game, and that is it also for the Black Stars goalkeeper. So, I'll also be following and bring you a lot of performances from Ghanaian players. So, that is it, and these are all the latest updates for you on this channel. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Now, let me give shout outs before I take leave of you. Before then, a very big, big happy birthday going out to Christopher Anku Gasconi. Yes, he's a brother, a friend, everything to me. So, Christopher, happy, happy birthday going out to you. I call him 20 billion. Yes, wherever you are watching me, he's also an ardent viewer here so he's always on this channel happy happy birthday enjoy your day to the fullest i wish you all the best in your future endeavors so that is it also in there now um shout out going out to munal isaac yes munal thank you for being here i've seen you um then i also have sb Ephraim. thank you for being here jumo samson i appreciate you fiaku courage thank you for being here um kofi krobia santa da queen is here so what joseph i've seen you um tay emmanuel thank you for being here fortune bitam you have always been with me thank you so you abdullah i've seen you um let me move on mr body is also on this channel richard quason i appreciate you gideon akagbo is here Ima 8485, I've seen you. Barak says 365 is also here. Apeku Abednego, thank you. Ameti Jani is also on this channel. Elijah Ando Kinsley is here. And then you call Johannes Mawutho, I appreciate you. Akwelo Rashab, you are also on this channel. Stanley GH, thank you. Sowa Joseph is also on this channel. Swanzi Kuje is here. Emmanuel Amane is here. Inusak Musa is here. Amura Jonas in Kumase, I've seen you. Um, um, Emmanuel Amane is also here. Adepa 1212. Oliver Agbovi is here at the power. Okay, I think I've mentioned already. Stefan DK, you are also here. Paul Blay, thank you for being here, Paul Blay. Swazi Koje is also here. And Ernest Amethe Few. These are all the comments I have under the last video. That's at the time I'm recording this one, 8 5 p.m. today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Don't forget to always like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This was Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.